What's happening, everybody? It's G Sneech, and we just got a package dropped off, literally, like just came in, and I already know what this is. I couldn't wait to get this review up. This is my 830 satin backboard. This one is just, just an all-around beauty, and it's just a mock after probably one of the greatest retro ones ever, you know what I'm saying? Next to the originals, new colorways. It's probably the greatest new colorway ever. I wouldn't put it over any originals for real. You know what I'm saying? One put over the band, one put over the Chicago, one put over the UNC. Those are my top threes. I wouldn't put it over the Shadow, maybe the Royal. Yeah, it's a, it's up in there somewhere a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It is a dope colorway and it's one of the most legendary colorways. And just as far as resale, it's probably just the number one shoe of all time as far as reselling. So it kind of just just made perfect sense. And the crazy part about it, the first shoe I ever resold was the Shattered Backboard, the original one, uh, 2015, I believe. It was either 14 or 15, I believe. Y'all can get in the comments and y'all can correct me with the exact release day. I done forgot it at this point. I had to get the review up. It's just a beauty. And I get to catch y'all up on everything. Make sure y'all hit that YouTube right now. Make sure y'all like. Look, look, the website is right here. You can get to YouTube from the website or you can just go to YouTube, gsneaks89, type it in. Uh, it's numerous links everywhere and bios and some of everything. So just make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all run them views up. You know what I'm saying? We got some great products on here. Just want y'all to view those. Catch y'all up on everything. We got Podcast With Real Part 1. That was Episode 4. Episode 4.2 with Paperboy. Episode 5. DJ BJ, then we just dropped Military Black Force, Banger, and then Real Sneakerhead of Detroit. Those was the gun bottom episodes, and then Real Sneakerhead of Detroit, we just dropped episode 25, Military Force, and episode 26, 5,000 on shoes. And we got another one in there, we got uh, Car Shopping with Deuce. So make sure y'all go and, and just, you know, be entertained with all the entertainment and that hard work that's somewhere listed underneath these videos. Without further ado, we're gonna get into this review. We can't wait to get this one on foot. Yes, we're gonna do it on foot. I can't wait to just, you know what I'm saying, just indulge in this piece of art that we got right here. This G-Sneaks 89 Nike Air Force One G89 830 Satin Backboard. That shit fire, that shit sound fire, you know what I'm saying? I give them long ass names like, like how Dodge give Chargers names. Dodge, what is it, SRT? It's Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Jailbreak Red Eye. Like that shit is wild as hell. And that's one car. That's one car. That's one car. Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak. Or I don't know if they put the jailbreak in front of the red eye, but that's one car. We got the Nike Air Force One G89 830 Satin Backboard. Film. Let's go over the box again before I rip that seal. We're gonna go over the box. We got the authentication sticker on the bottom. You got the seal right there that I'm already thumbing. And we got the patch on the front. Designed to look like a postcard. And then the size tag. I actually went down a half size in my Air Force Ones. I'm a 10. I've been liking the nine and a half fit a lot, lot better. They just been making Air Force Ones a lot bigger for me. You know what I'm saying? So went down a half size. Nine five. We're gonna bust this one open right here. That one came open smooth. There you go, Find it open, cracking that seal. Postcard in there. I just pull these out. We're gonna unbox this plenty and plenty of times. A few times already. Wrapping paper. I didn't done this so many times already, but it's still just, it's still just a dope ass experience every time you do it, you know what I'm saying? They look crazy, you know what I'm saying? I thought this one, when, when I decided to do this one, I just was like, it's a no-brainer. It's the first shoe I ever resold, and I've been comparing the quality of the Air Force Ones to this shoe. So I was just like, man, I'm gonna make it. And it came out amazing. One of my favorites, I'm gonna uh, sit this one down. I'm gonna put it on Oh, man. I have been comparing the Air Force Ones to this one already. Ooh, 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 ooh. Man, when you actually get this thing in hand and in person, it blows you away. It just completely blows you away because this black just gives it, honestly, it look like a tiger. Like, that's the first thing that come to your mind when you actually see it. This, the, the satin effect make it look like fur. It just look like black fur. 
You know what I'm saying? And it gives you a tiger vibe. It's, it's just dope as hell. It doesn't take away from the shattered backboard theme. To me, it just adds to it. And then I just had to throw the gum bottle. You know, we don't even we don't even not do that at all. I wanted to get it as close to the shattered backboard as possible. If you go through the shattered, if you if you had, I wish I had a shattered backboard in here. I could have got one in here, but you know, I really just wanted to get this review up and I didn't even think about it till now. So if you look at the shattered backboard, there's no white in it. It's all sale. You know what I'm saying? So there's there's no white in this. I didn't put no white in this besides the, the tag because it just wasn't too many other options for me. Um but the shoe is completely sailed out. The shit's so crazy. I really, I don't wear a Jordan 1 or Air Force 1 without white laces, but this one does not have white laces. And I just didn't want to separate the the theme of the shattered backboard. If I was given the option, I wanted to put the original on it. You know what I'm saying? So I know that the original shattered backboard came with sail laces. So it has sail laces. And I definitely want going with black, so fuck that. So you got the cell sole instead of the white sole with the gum bottom, which hits just as fantastic. It hits just as fantastic with that gum bottom. And then the toe box, you already know what the toe box is supposed to be. It's supposed to be the softest leather, the best leather they ever put on the Air Jordan general release. You know, because I'm sure some samples that's crazy, but that shattered backboard just kind of set the quality and kind of set the tone for sneaker releases. So we just been comparing it to it or comparing releases to this mock-up, to this shoe ever since. And of course, we wanted to do the same thing with this toe box. We wanted to give it the best leather that we could possibly give it. And I think we accomplished something miraculous. You know what I'm saying? Like, just look how, look how, look how soft that leather is. And then around it, on the shattered backboard, you got black leather. This time we put black satin. Starfish, there we go. That's the color of the orange starfish, and that's the color of the original shattered backboard. That starfish and sail. I, I, I just, don't, 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 don't let me forget that. I can't forget that. So here we go. Um, and then around the uh, the laces, it was black leather. So we put black satin. Same with the Nike swoosh, Nike check, black satin. Same on the heel, black satin. And then this starfish orange and this leather that just wraps the whole heel crazy with that 830 just popping right there this one is just ridiculously like i said when you actually get it in hand it comes together so 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 nicely now i even did something that i really don't do i gave it a black tongue i gave it a black tongue so let me uh actually loosen this up i'm gonna sit this one right here so you can see i'm gonna just say this this is probably top top this is in my top five air force ones that i ever seen in my life and not even because of the fact that i made it just because of the simple fact like you can't just deny some shit popping it's just you can't deny this one this one's just crazy it's crazy it's crazy this black leather tongue is just as soft as the leather on the original shot back in the black form and that's another thing I haven't even unlaced it. I haven't even, we gonna get that on foot popping cause I already know once you get this thing on foot, it's just gonna look, it's gonna pop. That's why I couldn't wait to wear this. I've been wearing my Chicago again lately and I already get a lot of compliments every time some people see my shoes, every time people see me out, they always nice shoes, nice shoes, nice shoes. But I already know people gonna, they are gonna break their necks when they see this one cause it's a low top shatter. It's a low top shatter, you know what I'm saying? And it's a low top original shatter. They gave us the 2.0 low. But if they would have gave us that 1.0 low, it probably, and I wore the 2.0 low, that bitch was fire. That bitch was fire, I like that one. I like that one a lot, I bought the shit, I just had to have it. That was that was one I went after crazy. It was like, I gotta have this one, cause I love low top ones. But this one just give you that real authentic shattered backboard look, and then the gum bottom. On the original uh, shattered backboard, the bottom is starfish, but this twist on it just blends the, it blends it better than the orange sole would have could have ever done. So yeah, just take a look at that, 830. I'm gonna give y'all the spill on where the 830 came from. Now, first off, it is my birthday backwards, 038. But 
The original Shattered Backboard game was in August of 1980, I wanna say 86, 85, around that time, 85, 86, whatever, whatever, around that time. But the game was in August and Jordan had 30 points. Jordan had 30 points. So that's where the 830 came from. And also, like I said, it is my birthday. So this one is just stupid fire. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's really got a Shattered Backboard theme. It's got a crazy Shattered Backboard theme. I can't wait to get this one on foot. I can't wait to rock it. I want a special place just to even rock this joint. For real, for real. For real, for real. But yeah, everybody out there, man, we just gotta keep, you gotta keep pushing, you gotta keep going. Um, don't let nothing stop you. Just keep riding your wave out. Just keep motivating yourself and keep pushing pushing yourself, you know, because this, you can do some great shit in life when you just mind your own goddamn business and you just stay in your own motherfucking lane. You know what I'm saying? If you don't give a fuck about anything but the shit you got going on, you would look around and you would just be like, man, I'm holding some dope ass shit. Like, there you go. You know what I'm saying? It's the first shoe I ever resold to become this level of a reseller. And then to release this shoe that's mocked after the first shoe I ever resold. One of the biggest retro ones of all time. Pretty fire. You know what I'm saying? So here you go. This one drops on... Father's Day. it will be some first come first serve. Pre-order is open right now. So if you need one of these, which you should have one of these because it's deniably one of the hardest Air Force ones I've ever seen. So if you need one of these, make sure you text 313-282-6729. Tell me that you interested in the pre-order. Hit us up on Instagram at GSNKS underscore 89. Pretty much on any social media you can find us, you know what I'm saying? You can leave a comment on here. You can message us on here and let us know you're interested in an authentic pair of G Sneaks 89 Air Force Ones. I have seen some, some mock-ups already. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and an imitation is a flattery. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. You know, if I have inspired somebody to go and express themselves creatively, you know, that's awesome. One of the highest form of self is to inspire. Remember that G Sneaks 89 Air Force One, Nike G89 Air Force One. 830 satin backboard. I really wish everybody could take a pair of these home because they are in no form of doubt a neck breaker. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Appreciate the love, everybody. Shout out to everybody. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all get on this. You know what I'm saying? Let's run this up. Let's run this up. Let's do it. Let's do this on foot, man. I gotta get these on foot. These are crazy. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it, bro. I'm just saying, don't do it. Don't. I know y'all. And I know y'all. Don't, don't go do it. Don't do it. Just copy one. Because... <laughs> He's crazy, man. He, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't did this one. I didn't did that one with the socks. Ah, oh, say less. We are gonna rock these for sure. We are gonna bend some corners on these. Nike Air Force One G89 830 satin backboard drop Father's Day. Make sure you get a pair now. Pre-order is open. You need them. You need them. Don't be a style still. Let's get it. Let's get it. Off the G Sneaks joggers. Let's pop them. Let's go. I had to show y'all the marketing behind the initial photo shoot. And it was just, it was just some, I, I honestly want to say it was just some high level thinking and high level inspiration and just high level creativity to take every Hennessy bottle that was in the store and shatter them, use them as a, you know, a backdrop for the photo shoot. Just amazing, man. And for me to think of it on the fly, like I did, I thought of it on the fly, like crazy. It was like really last minute and it came out amazing. Came out amazing. I had to share this with everybody. I know everybody didn't pretty much get to see this you know, on Instagram. So here's the behind the scenes and just to throw the bags down first, I'm really at the point where after I'm done with the shoes, leave this like this down here. And what I'm thinking of doing is 
like plexiglass and then silicone after I wear the shoes, sign the shoes, leave them in there and just making a one-on-one -on -one piece of artwork out of these because I really don't want to lose this.